Module 1 of the CAPE Communication Studies Syllabus focuses on gathering and processing information in order to produce a masterpiece. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can level up your ability to gather and process information from text to write that essay. When presented with a passage, it may be difficult to get started. But what if I told you all you needed to get started was to actually start reading? However, just to ensure that you're following, I must address a major issue. Organizational strategies versus language techniques. Organizational strategies refer to how the discourse is organized to achieve the writer's purpose. Examples are the use of statistics, subheadings, expert opinion, comparison and contrast, chronological order, listing, among many others. Basically, organizational strategies give a solid structure to the writing. Language techniques refer to the figurative devices used by writers to help drive his or her message. Language techniques pull focus to ideas important to the author's main idea and purpose. These include the use of metaphors, alliteration, assonance, analogies, allusions, satire, and irony. I mean, I could list these for days. But now that that's out of the way, let's start planning. Read the passage in order to get an idea of what it is talking about. While reading, you'll realize that you automatically start to form opinions based on what you're reading. This will help in identifying the main point and the author's purpose. No, I value your time. So just pause the video and read this short passage. While reading, try to identify any organizational strategies and language techniques you can. Okay, so I hope you were able to identify some. If you have, let me hear them in the comments. This was only a snippet of the article from the May-June 2022 paper, by the way. This is what I came up with though. For organizational strategies, I found the use of comparison and contrast in lines 2 to 3, where it says, People historically came to cosmetic surgeons. No, they're coming with edited selfies. Also in line 20, where it says the colossal distance between stars and everyday people. I also found the use of expert opinion in lines 5 and 12 to 14. They mentioned the surgeon Nalil Vashi and British plastic surgeon Tijan Esho. I also saw the use of statistics in line 11, where it says in 2017, the number rose to 55%. Also, there is listing or evidence of listing in lines 21 to 22, where it says appearance through regimented exercise, control the diet, and a team of makeup, hair, and fashion experts. For language techniques, I found the use of allusion in line 1, where it says physicians who work at the aesthetic edge. Aesthetic edge make reference to plastic surgeons without explicitly stating it. Also saw the use of hyperbole, in line 20, where it says the colossal distance between stars and everyday people, colossal being the exaggeration. I also saw the use of hyperphora in lines 18 to 19. This is where a question is posed and an answer is given directly after. What makes editing photos different? In the past, those ideas. Your plan is just an outline of the ideas which you have. It gives you room to choose from the best so that you're able to use your strongest points. After you're through with planning, it's time to get writing. Most times, students are able to distinguish between the main point and the writer's purpose. However, the biggest mistake made by students in writing this is avoiding the elementary frame. Also, it's important to be conscious of your word limit, which is usually about 500 words. Wait a minute! But wait a minute. What do I mean by the elementary frame? The main point is, the writer's purpose is. Students also use basic terms like to inform. Instead, say to educate, to sensitize, or even to highlight when stating the writer's purpose. Please remember that the main point is not always plastered in the text. Instead, based on your reading, you're required to infer the main point and the writer's purpose. When writing, follow this structure to ensure that your essay is well written. 
Firstly, start with an introduction where you'll mention the writer's main point and the writer's purpose. Again, don't forget the elementary frame. You're explicitly supposed to state the writer's main purpose is, the main point is. Then, go on to mention your strongest organizational strategies and tell how each help to support the writer's purpose and the main point. You will then speak about your strongest language techniques and again, tell how each helps to support the writer's purpose and the main point. The conclusion, you'll use that to answer the final question which usually follows. I hope this helped. Don't forget to subscribe for quick and easy access to my content. So as usual, if you're hearing this, that means you've made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. My name is Kamuli, by the way. And until next time, bye guys.